Cushing's syndrome is a collection of signs and symptoms due to prolonged exposure to cortisol. Signs and symptoms may include high blood pressure, abdominal obesity but with thin arms and legs, reddish stretch marks, a round red face, a fat lump between the shoulders, weak muscles, weak bones, acne, and fragile skin that heals poorly. Women may have more hair and irregular menstruation. Occasionally there may be changes in mood, headaches, and a chronic feeling of tiredness. Cushing's syndrome is caused by either excessive cortisol-like medication such as prednisone or tumor that either produces or results in the production of excessive cortisol by the adrenal glands. Cases due to a pituitary adenoma are known as Cushing's disease. It is the second most common cause of Cushing's syndrome after medication. A number of other tumors may also cause Cushing's. Some of these are associated with inherited disorders such as multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1 and carney complex diagnosis requires a number of steps. The first step is to check the medications a person takes. The second step is to measure levels of cortisol in the urine, saliva or in the blood after taking dexamethasin. If this test is abnormal, the cortisol may be measured late at night. If the cortisol remains high, a blood test for ACTH may be done to determine if the pituitary is involved. Most cases can be treated and cured. If due to medications, these can often be slowly stopped. If caused by a tumor, it may be treated by a combination of surgery, chemotherapy, and or radiation. If the pituitary was affected, other medications may be required to replace its lost function. With treatment, life expectancy is usually normal. Some in whom surgery is unable to remove the entire tumor have an increased risk of death. About 2 to 3 people per million are affected each year. It most commonly affects people who are 20 to 50 years of age. Women are affected three times more often than men. A mild degree of overproduction of cortisol without obvious symptoms, however, is more common. Cushing's syndrome was first described by Harvey Cushing in 1932. Cushing's syndrome may also occur in other animals including cats, dogs, and horses. Symptoms include rapid weight gain, particularly of the trunk and face with sparing of the limbs, central obesity. Common signs include the growth of fat pads along the collarbone, supraclavicular fat pads, on the back of the neck, buffalo-humporal apodystrophy, and on the face moon face. Other symptoms include excess sweating, dilation of capillaries, thinning of the skin, which causes easy bruising and dryness, particularly the hands, and mucous membranes, purple or red striae. The weight gain in Cushing's syndrome stretches the skin, which is thin and weakened, causing it to hemorrhage, on the trunk, buttocks, arms, legs, or breasts proximal muscle weakness, hips, shoulders, and hirsutism, facial male pattern hair growth, baldness and or extremely dry and brittle hair. In rare cases, Cushing's can cause hypocalcemia. The excess cortisol may also affect other endocrine systems and cause, for example, insomnia, inhibited aromatase, reduced libido, impotence in men and amenorrhea, oligomenorrhea and infertility in women due to elevations in androgens. Studies have also shown that the resultant amenorrhea is due to hypercortisolism, which feeds back onto the hypothalamus resulting in decreased levels of GnRH release. Cognitive conditions, including memory and attention dysfunctions, as well as depression are commonly associated with elevated cortisol, and may be early indicators of exogenous or endogenous Cushing's. Depression and anxiety are also common. 
Other striking and distressing skin changes that may appear in Cushing's syndrome include facial acne, susceptibility to superficial fungus, dermatophyte and malassezia, infections, and the characteristic purplish, atrophic striae on the abdomen. Other signs include polyuria, and accompanying polydipsia, persistent hypertension, due to cortisol's enhancement of epinephrine's vasoconstrictive effect, and insulin resistance, especially common in ectopic ACTH production, leading to high blood sugar and insulin resistance which can lead to diabetes mellitus. Insulin resistance is accompanied by skin changes such as acanthosis nigricans in the axilla and around the neck, as well as skin tags in the axilla. Untreated Cushing's syndrome can lead to heart disease and increased mortality. Cortisol can also exhibit mineralocorticoid activity in high concentrations, worsening the hypertension and leading to hypochlamia, common in ectopic ACTH secretion. Furthermore, excessive cortisol may lead to gastrointestinal disturbances, opportunistic infections and impaired wound healing related to cortisol's suppression of the immune and inflammatory responses. Osteoporosis is also an issue in Cushing's syndrome since osteoblast activity is inhibited. Additionally, Cushing's syndrome may cause sore and aching joints, particularly in the hip, shoulders, and lower back. Cushing's syndrome includes all the causes of increased cortisol leading to the diseased state. Cushing's disease is a specific type of Cushing's syndrome caused by a pituitary tumor leading to excessive production of ACTH, adrenocorticotropic hormone. Excessive ACTH stimulates the adrenal cortex to produce high levels of cortisol, producing the disease state. Cushing's disease due to excess ACTH may also result in hyperpigmentation. This is due to melanocyte stimulating hormone production as a byproduct of ACTH synthesis from pro-OPM linocortin, PROMC. Alternatively, it is proposed that the high levels of ACTH, lipotropin, and lipotropin, which contain weak MSH function, can act on the melanocortin 1 receptor. A variant of Cushing's disease can be caused by ectopic, that is extrapituitary, ACTH production from, for example, a small cell lung cancer. When Cushing's syndrome is caused by an increase of cortisol at the level of the adrenal glands, via an adenoma or hyperplasia, Negative feedback ultimately reduces ACTH production in the pituitary. In these cases, ACTH levels remain low and no hyperpigmentation develops. While all Cushing's disease gives Cushing's syndrome, not all Cushing's syndrome is due to Cushing's disease.